Chipung Kayao. Welcome back once again to Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. And for you tonight, I have a Peruvian dish. One of the best Peruvian dishes, ceviche peruano. If not, ceviche peruano is the best, it's one of the best out there. And this is the recipe from Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Uh, a little brief introduction, this is what I do. Unlike ceviches, the difference between ceviche peruano and most of the ceviches around is that the fish of ceviche peruano have to be fresh, meaning that not cooked by lime, not uh, fermented by lime. Unlike the other ceviches, Salvadorian, Mexican, we ferment the fish with lime. So this is different. So let me introduce you the uh, uh, ingredients. Ceviche peruano is made with tilapia. I don't have tilapia, I looked around, I'm gonna use bassa filet. It's the fresh filet, that's what matters. My show is to show you the procedures, okay? So if you can find uh, tilapia, filet is even greater because that's the original recipe. So I have here like a little less than a pound of uh, a filet, okay? So I'm gonna use that before introducing everything else. I'm gonna make you what is called like leche de tigre. Leche de tigre is the essence, is the juice uh, that goes at the end of the ending of the Peruvian ceviche. And for that, uh, Peruvians use this ginger. I have probably like 10 grams of ginger, 20 grams of celery, probably 15 grams of uh, culantro. They call it culantro. We call it cilantro. Salvadorians call it cilantro. Peruvians call it culantro. But that's not different. So what you want to use is the end of the culantro. Uh, avoid the green part because this sauce, the leche de tigre, have to be a clear sauce, okay? And that is said, we're going to use lime, uh, what's it called, ginger, uh, celery, and culantro for leche de tigre with a little bit of pieces of the main ingredient, fish. Stay with me because I'm going to make you the leche de tigre first. And then I'm going to show you how to slice this uh, fillet. Okay, here I'm gonna cut the fish so you see um, what am I gonna use. So you kind of like this, simple guys. We get, we need a uh, little bit of like fine pieces, like square pieces. So I you know, wanna make this ceviche very nice. So I cut it like that and the, in the end, right here like this, this is what we're gonna use to our leche de tigre, like this little piece right here. And then the rest we're gonna, we just gonna, what's it called, uh, make it a little square so we can have this uh, beautiful ceviche pieces, right? You know, nice to, uh, when you're eating it. Okay, this is what we're gonna use for leche de tigre. So this is it. Just make sure that you are, uh, like I say, cut it in nice little pieces, right? It all depends how big you like you, you uh, what's it called, you taste on, on, on the pig pieces. So I'm gonna leave you with that, and uh, here it is. I'm gonna cut more the this one right here, and I'm gonna put it in the cooler, okay? Save it. Don't leave it outside, fish is very, uh, uh, Delicate, it's like it's, it's raw fish, right? So you don't want to leave it outside. Okay, so I leave you with that. That amount is gonna be the amount of Peruvian ceviche. Okay, see you in a bit with the leche de tigre. Okay, here it is, and we're ready to make this leche de tigre for our Peruvian ceviche. My friends, peruanos, mi amigos peruanos, donde están? Chipung! Callado. Okay, bueno. Leche de tigre. You're gonna use, like I say, fresh fish because this is the acid, this is the sauce. So little pieces, like that. Now, remember, culantro, cilantro, yes. Also, our celery. We're not gonna do too heavy on our celery, okay? Just a little bit. Ginger, there you go. And forget me, or forget me if I'm missing something, my friends. This is your ceviche, not mine, but I'm just, uh, you know, this is Julio's kitchen. So we're gonna use lime. I'm just gonna use one lime, and squeeze it really nice. 
Let's see another piece right here. Okay, squeezing the line. So basically, this uh, sauce, like a fish sauce, is gonna be a uh, sort of white sauce because that's the style. And we're gonna use cold water, my friends. Look, very cold. Remember, I said this ceviche is the is fresh. So Peruvians like this ceviche is very fresh. So anyway, we're gonna blend this and see what happens. All right, look at that. So this is it, this is Leche de Tigre. Uh, I'm gonna blend it really nice, in my blender. Oh, okay, power, more power, power, yeah, more power. And let's see how it how, how. Yeah, it's there. Maybe I put a little bit too much uh, green, too much uh, celery. See how the green is, but it's okay. It's for your kitchen, it's all right to make mistakes. So now we're gonna move it here, right here. We're gonna create some space. Because we're gonna do this. Okay, we have the uh, strike so I'm gonna move you down here now because we are going to strain this okay stay with me stay with me there we go so all we do now we put this uh, look at that to a strainer you know you do you save this uh, juice for later because this is gonna be the essence of bear me, me, bear me. There you go. There we go. Okay, here it is. So this is it, this is uh, Leche de Tigre my friends, I will be back when I'm done to finish this Peruvian ceviche, okay, stay with it. Okay my Peruvian friends, we're gonna finish this ceviche peruano, okay, here it is. So we got everything ready, now first first, fish, fresh fish, okay, and this is the Peruvian style, because they don't, uh, like I say, preserve the fish in, in, with the lemon, no, 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 no. The lemon goes in, like you'll see right now or after. I'm gonna put it out. But most important right now, we're gonna add the leche de tigre, okay? Let me see if we got a close look to it. There you go. Here you go. So we're gonna add our leche de tigre in the, depending on the amount of fish that I have, right? I'm gonna save some of it. And this is all depending on the amount of fish. Okay, chili. I'm using, remember the Thai, the Thai chilies, sorry. As much as you want. I'm gonna put that much because these are spicy. Cilantro. And I say, you don't wanna overdo, and this is the most important. Please, when you add the red onions, don't dice them because this is the style of the Peruvian ceviche. I don't know why, don't ask me as a Peruvian. <laughs> And this is it, my friends. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, the next segment is gonna be lime. The next segment is gonna be plating. So lime, lots of, I love lots of lime, okay? My friend, uh, so I'm gonna put lots of lime, okay? And this is the only time the, uh, the fish is fermenting. From here to the table, it's gonna be a very short time. <coughs> now here, we're missing the essential ingredient, salt and pepper. So we're gonna salt it, yes. You, you measure the amount, guys, okay? Look how beautiful that is. No, pepper. And this is, my friend, the version Julio's Kitchen Vancouver Ceviche Peruano, Peruvian Ceviche. There we go. I'm gonna mix that in and we'll see what's going on. Look. That's looking pretty good to me, from here. Now, uh, as I can see now, see, I'm gonna add all the cheese. 
and all the cilantro. See, that's how you measure your food. What about red onions? Add more red onions if you like, okay? It's your ceviche. And then you measure how's the liquid, how's the sauce. I believe the sauce is pretty good. So I'm not gonna need anything else. I'm just, just gonna let it be. And I am going to be ready for plating this beautiful Peruvian ceviche. My friends, stay with me, thank you. Okay, my peruanos and everybody else, this is your ceviche peruano. Uh, this is my version. Uh, I try to, like I say, like stay on the uh, uh, traditional way. And look at this, yes, the, the sauce, I, mean, I, I tasted it. Look, it's just amazing. Uh, uh, maybe a lot too much, I, I don't know, but it's my ceviche and all that I'm showing you is the procedures how to make ceviche. Peruanos, use tilapia, my friends, okay? And that's it. This is it. I leave you with that. Thank you very much for being here with me once again. And until next time. And what you see over here is camote. Sweet potato. I have both. I have the one that I boil. And the other one is fried sweet potato. Hasta la próxima. Chipung. Callao.